Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Library. My name is Stacy Brody, and I am a reference and instruction librarian at Himmelfarb. Today, we will briefly talk about how to quickly change citation styles in Word using RefWorks Write and Cite. Our videos are publicly available and licensed under a CC BY NC SA Creative Commons license. Some resources, such as RefWorks, discussed in this series are only available to faculty, staff, and students with access to Himmelfarb Library resources. Let's get started. Imagine you've written your paper, and it's a great paper. You submitted it, and the editors of the journal rejected it. It happens all the time. No sweat, you regroup, and you find a new journal to submit using one of the tools listed on the Himmelfarb Scholarly Publishing Guide. The problem is, this new journal requires an entirely different citation style, and you don't have hours to waste reformatting all the references for your paper. Not a problem. You wrote your paper using RefWorks Write and Cite in Word. The RefWorks tab appears all the way to the right-hand side on the upper menu in Word. Under the RefWorks tab, you'll find ways to add citations and then adjust the styles. Here, the style is set to AMA or the American Medical Association style. The new journal though, needs a different style. You've decided to submit to the New England Journal of Medicine. So you log on to RefWorks in your browser and you start to create a bibliography and search for the style New England Journal of Medicine. RefWorks offers access to hundreds and thousands of different styles, and not all are included in the Word plugin by default. So go to RefWorks to identify the new style that you need. Once you've done so, return to Word and select Sync My Database. This pulls the data you just added to your RefWorks account to the Word plugin and we'll add the new style to the drop-down menu. So now when you drop down to select style, you also see New England Journal of Medicine. Select that and let Word do its thing. After a minute or so, depending on the number of references you have, all of the references and in-text citations will be updated and the style is reflected in the drop-down menu window in the upper left. Now we see the bibliography change slightly, reflecting the new style. Now you save a copy, and this has all the RefWorks data still in it. Before you submit, remove field codes and save a new copy. This is the one you will submit to the journal. However, you cannot go back and change the RefWorks data in this copy. That would be the prior one. So we saw how quickly and easily you can change citation styles using RefWorks Write and Cite in Word. It's important to save a copy with field codes so you can go back and continue to update styles as you need. Then remove the field codes and save that as an additional copy to submit to the journal editors. Thank you for your time. If you enjoyed this video, you can view more of our videos on the Himmelfarb Video Library on our scholarly publishing LibGuide. If you have questions about any of the material covered in the session today, or have questions specific to your own research, don't hesitate to contact us at sbrody98 at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications team, thank you for listening.